Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. In this video, I'm going to go over a free local SEO audit that I did for a company back in January, just to give you guys an idea of what it will look like for you if you request one for your business. Notes. So basically the main thing here is that I didn't have access to any first party data. So all the numbers here are estimates on third party tools like SEM Rush and Local Falcon. If you want to learn more about me, feel free to pause the video. I'm going to just keep on going. High level summary. No technical issues really to be worried about, which is great. I do a lot of audits. Some have 60% score, 70% score. This particular case, not so much. Very good from a technical side. Google My Business, Bing and Apple are all verified, which is great. And they all show up for brand search. So it's good. NAP, single, a signal, a name, address, phone number. I'm gonna actually get into the address in a second though. But the point though is that they have it all verified, which is great. Most of the SEO traffic though comes from their brand name, which tells me there's an opportunity for SEO to drive more traffic to their website. High level summary of SEO. You guys can pause it right over here. There's a lot of information, but I want to just kind of uh, continue. So technical audit, uh, SEM rush here. So I did a project uh, dashboard uh, report, 92%, nothing really to worry about here. So I wouldn't worry too much about uh, um, what the numbers mean. It only becomes an issue if you have like, let's say like a 70% score and you have all these warnings and errors and it's like, okay, there's like some major things you got to focus on. That's not the case for them. So they're doing quite a good job when it comes to the technical side of stuff. Traffic summary worldwide, 130 plus or 131. Uh, estimated visits per month from Google search, give or take. Again, it's gonna be probably different than what your analytics show. Sample ranking keywords, what I do here is I take from SEM Rush a uh, snapshot, and then I sort it by the traffic column. <clears throat> so you can see that Anton Limo, that's the name of their brand, that has 56, searches, uh, 56 visits per month. It's the majority of their uh, search traffic comes from their brand name. Limo Service Connecticut is position seven, and that's the map pack listing, which I'll get to in a little bit. Google My Business does show. So if you search for them, you're gonna find their knowledge panel, which is great. However, one thing that I called out in this report is that their address does not show. And this is a this is a ranking signal for Google. I have a few different local clients. Some show their address, some don't. And the ones that do show their address do better. Because effectively, if you had, let's say, let's just pretend there's only four listings that Google can choose from because Google only shows three on page one, position one, two, and three. And there's, let's say there's four in this example. Even if you have 25 more reviews and they're all five-star reviews over the other three and everything else is the same, you know, you offer the same type of service, hours are, you know, are all the same. Google's going to give the preference to the ones that have the address because those are verified. Users can see exactly where they are. They can, you know, do directions to it. It's a, it's a trustworthy signal. And also Google has a better understanding when they showcase this listing that this particular, this, this um, transportation company is in this address, in this location. So Google wants to display, you know, the most helpful information that they can from a local standpoint. So if they don't have that address to, to pull from, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to um, have the, the algorithm basically showcase it for a, uh, for a listing. So I always recommend that for people have your address shown within Google, if you can. And the reason I bring all this up is that they do that for Bing. So they have their address shown directly in Bing, but they don't have it for Google. Opportunity right there. So just basically have the address shown uh, within Google if if you're able to, because it's gonna be a ranking factor. They have TripAdvisor reviews, which is great. So I tell all my clients that I have, listen, Google's great. Google, my uh, business reviews, is, it's gonna show up in the knowledge panel, but I encourage people to leave reviews on other places too. Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, um, Trust Index, whatever it is, diversify your reviews. So they're doing that. that they're doing a great job because that shows directly in Bing, the TripAdvisor reviews right there. It's really good. Um, actually, they even show like the review right there too. November 2022, someone talked about their experience, five-star review, really good stuff. Uh, local keyword heat map for location. So, First one here is keyword limousine service. I'm looking at a 20 mile radius. The only metric I care about is SOLV, share of local voice, 22% of the time. So if you scroll all the way down, it's in the bottom part of the Connecticut map is where they're most competitive. So the metrics that really should matter to any local business is one, two, and three. That means you're on page one of Google. Google only displays three organic map hack listings. So for me, um, I call that basically you can do a lot of things. You can expand your, your description, add photos, product carousels, answer questions, et cetera. Um, include the physical address. These are all ways to really improve this rank. Keyword two, 
airport shuttle service. Um, <clears throat> uh, not as good of a keyword. Less than 3% of the share of local voice. You can see the map, mainly red. Big opportunity right here. Follow my strategy again, address, description, product carousel services, Q and A's, uh, great way to really improve this map. Third keyword, airport transportation, it's the same story. 0% share of local voice, follow my suggestions, improve that. Prom limo service, 23% of the time that this listing's in page one of Google. You can look at the map um, and kind of get an idea. I go over other suggestions of ways that you can really improve the map. Um, uh, the dots and get greener and drive more traffic. But the main thing is having your address, the photos, the services, the products, all that stuff. But there's other things you can do as well. But those are the high level summary notes that you can uh, you can take right away. Sample SEO optimization. So I go over this from limo service. They have a web page about it. Um, I would build a section basically list off the towns and the cities that you service one tip you know it's very you know users want to know essentially that if they find your listing do you service their town um so then they know you know they can call you and they know that you'll be able to um provide that type of service usual stuff title tags meta name descriptions internal links semantic keyword phrases i include um do i include that no i don't i use a third party tool i use uh SEM rush where i can pull out some, some i i can extrapolate the information from a web page and then the tool will show me some semantic phrases to use to help give Google and Bing more uh, context into that you rank or that you you offer this type of service. So semantic phrases is actually quite important. SEO roadmap. So I said, the site has a strong technical score, which is true. Focus on Google My Business, which is going to be key. You know, show that showcase that address, products, photos, services, descriptions, Q and A's. You can do all that. Um, focus on optimizing each service for local search. So their website you want to go through each of the drop down options that they have as services and just kind of go through the same process as i said title tags descriptions header image optimization image image compression a lot of things you can do to really uh, improve the local uh relevancy of the um, information um i suggest adding the google my business map directly to your website so i talk about nap quite a bit name address phone number if you embed the google my business map into your website it's kind of like that two-way connection so from Google My Business back to your website, website back to Google My Business. It just showcases that your business is in this location. I've tried doing this with Bing. Uh, Bing's a little more convoluted how you can embed the map, <clears throat> but I do see an, uh, an improvement when I have local clients where I embed the Google My Business map directly onto their site. Um, it is a it, it does seem to be a ranking uh, improvement for them among other things we're doing. So basically small wins, you wanna just kind of stack them. Uh, review relevant directory. So one thing that i always do for my local seo clients is that i will during the month find relevant local directories for them to be listed on um, my clients pay for those listings but they're they're actually quite important because again they help with nap name address phone number and they also help diversify your portfolio you know you don't want to only just focus on google search traffic you know you want to utilize your local directories because a lot of these local directories have let's say like email um you know email newsletters or you can work with the directory to kind of get you know like a, like a sponsored you know post or anything like that like think of like the directories as a marketing way to get your message out or your service out so you can probably pay for some ad space on the directory you can maybe get into the email newsletter you can get into like a social blast these are all ways this is just marketing so i always you know encourage my clients to get that yes it will help from seo but also you want to diversify your traffic don't don't have it you know 95 percent from google because algorithm updates and everything else like that uh, they can always you know change and then all of a sudden now you're scrambling to make up that traffic uh and then each month so basically you become a client you get a report very similar to this where i go over kind of the traffic the kpis what we did next steps all that stuff um <clears throat> you guys can just pause the video here i'm just gonna go over some case studies real quick so for my business i have a few uh five-star reviews you can pause it there to read more about what others say about me um, I'm really committed to um, local SEO. So I was working on it for my own website. So TM Blast, you search for the word SEO company. I have just under a 90% share of local voice when I did this back in December. You can see the map here is basically green all the way around. Um, for SEO service, same thing, just under 90% again. Um, for the term SEO service, 35 mile radius, a lot of green.
Now, I, I, I've i actually talked about this particular case study now a lot. This map's actually even greener than this, but this is when I did this report back in January, but you can see left and right. So the heat map for New York City for one of my clients, a lot of red back on December 1st. And then at the end of the month, December 27th, a lot more green, just great, great stuff for them. Another client that I have, uh, their share of local voice improved by almost 10% uh, from about a month of just kind of optimizations that I've been doing for their account. Again, lot, lots more green there. Stadium Reviews website that I own, it's a um, uh, site I've had now for a few years and it went from 1 million sessions to 2.6. It's a project that I've been working on. I uh, always like to showcase that. Current client that I have, traffic is up 35%. Now this is the old analytics, so um, it, we have GA4 now, but we don't have that same historical data. So I always try to show when it was on Universal Analytics, just to kind of display what traffic increases look like uh, to potential clients. Sending as well here, <clears throat> same thing as well here. SEO traffic grows each month for a new website. Again, this is the old analytics, so take it for what it is. Um, but that's pretty much the report. So again, you know, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Number one and number two, I hope this video gave you guys some ideas of what a free local SEO audit looks like. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, or you can. Uh, uh, contact me directly. You can visit my website. It's just tmblast.com. Feel free to get in contact with me. And as always, have a good rest of your day.